I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabjorn's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. The Blackbriar family has always been allied with the Guild. Our connections with the Empire and within Skyrim make for a perfect fit. I dare say the Guild owes its survival as much to my family as it does to its own people. I believe we're done. You're making waves around here. I like that. If you ever want to talk about anything, you let me know. Come back and see me if you ever need pickpocket training. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. You jest, but they've been able to avoid identification for years. They're obviously well-funded, driven, and patient. Just don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gollum I. Gollum I is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. 
I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Need something? Yes? Blessings of... How may I help you, my son? Wonderful! Where to begin? Mara is the... We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how... Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short, so there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. May you return to her benevolence and safety. So, what do we have here? Hmm... Let me guess. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. But that can't be true, because I told Mercer I wouldn't deal with them anymore. By your scent, I'd say you were from the guild. I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. Did you say Golden Glow Estate? Uh, my apologies. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm, was it? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember every deal I handle. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, it can ruin me. And we'll see it white clean. Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes Hasn't Mercer Frey taught you people anything? You Down kill me, and your only contact with the East Empire Company? Well, now that you mention it, there is something I've been we'll trying to get my hands on. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. There just so happens to be a single case in the Blue Palace. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about Golden Glow Estate. You go on ahead. I'm not interested, Jari. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. 
I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Fresh and right. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Pardon me. Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Pine Moon Cave is down to the southwest. Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the dragonborn. I just don't know it yet. A method to your madness, and your madness is the method and the melody. Everything's all right. Seems there's always more to be done. Ah, good. Can't have the buyer getting impatient and looking elsewhere for this, can we? Here, take this. I certainly can't use it, but I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. Hmm. Not at all. I consider it an investment in prolonging my life. As far as Golden Glow Estate goes, I'll tell you what I know. I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arangoth for the estate. I brought in the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. I'm sure you understand. However, I did notice she was quite angry and it was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. I never promised you I'd have all the answers. 
Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on my way. Our business has concluded and you're standing in my way. Let's get going. Two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. Everything's all right? You talk to Egg Brothers. That's no words for you. Been up to the Blue Palace? To see, even if it is filled with fobs. You can sell off that junk at pieces.
one there. Hmm, nothing here after all. Was that?
fight a Stendar while you can. I'm going to enjoy this. There's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. All right, all right. It's Carlia. Her name is Carlia. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. Help. No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here, take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive.
thought I was just a pretty face. Interest you in some marksman training. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? No, it it can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood, and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers.
Well, hey there. What can Sapphire do for you? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. Are you sure? Once I exchange it for you, I'm not taking it back. Unless you want to sell it at a discount, of course. Okay, there you go. Welcome to the cozy. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right then. What do you want me to carry? Let's get going, then. Even if you're one of them, you better not make trouble. Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you. See? That kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skiba instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. 
That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. The only way this guild's going to continue to grow is by taking extra work. Back from a job, huh? Hope it went well. Is there something I can do for you?